Welcome to Noiseware, the smoke detector for noise. In this video, we'll walk through how to set up your indoor sensor. First, we'll pick a location, install the sensor, and use your phone to pair it with your Noiseware dashboard. If you haven't already installed our app, download it now in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Let's begin by picking a location. In the activity zone you wish to monitor, find an outlet with the line of sight to where noise might be centered. For best performance, keep your indoor sensor within 75 feet of your wireless router. Let's now install your sensor. In the box, you'll find our sensor and two screws. You'll also need a flathead screwdriver for installation. Start by unscrewing your outlet cover. With the cover still in place, plug in your indoor sensor in the uppermost available outlet. Then replace the screw through the bottom mounting hole in our sensor. If you need a longer screw, use the one provided in the box. Now that your sensor is secure and tamper-proof, check to see if the indicator light behind your sensor begins blinking. This means your sensor is ready for setup. Our sensor also works with Decora-style outlets. Remove the top screw on the outlet cover. Place your sensor in the top outlet and replace the screw through the center hole in our sensor. When performing the installation, set up only one sensor at a time. Avoid loud appliances like TV speakers. And make sure to securely screw in your sensors to receive accurate tamper alerts through our app. That means you'll need a real outlet, no power strips. Also, be sure to not install your sensor in an outlet controlled by a switch or any GFCI outlets which could lose power. Now, let's finish the sensor setup with your phone. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on and that the light on the indoor sensor is slowly blinking. Open the Noiseware app, log in and select the menu icon in the top left corner. Then, select Setup Sensor. Choose Indoor Sensor and begin setup. We've already plugged in our sensor, so we're ready to tap Next. Let's now add a property. Tap the drop-down menu and select Done to reveal the Add Property option. Input some basic information about your property. Select the property type and enter your square footage and maximum occupancy for our automatic thresholds to adjust for your property. Swipe down and select Save Property. Now, we'll return to our setup. In the Properties list, we'll select our new property and then give our sensor a name. When you're ready, tap Next and our sensor should pop up right away. Select Connect to Sensor. Then tap Next to move forward. We'll now choose your Wi-Fi network. If your sensor is within range of your router, the network strength should read strong. Select your network, carefully enter the password, and when you're all done, you can save the Wi-Fi credentials to the property in your dashboard if you wish. Last, we need to take a photo to upload to your dashboard. Press the big red button and select camera. Then take a photo of your sensor within the surrounding activity zone. Tap done, and you're all ready to start monitoring.